Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Coming off of the heels of a excellent, an excellent pay-per-view in the Elimination Chamber. As you can see here, the rankings, Mr. McMahon is your WWE Champion. Let's go ahead and go in and let's see what this does to affect the card. I totally forgot to do this, and I didn't want to, you know, seem, I didn't want it to seem like I changed the card at all. So, see, John Cena goes down one. Big Show goes down one. Um, our truth goes down one. The Rock 98-99. Yep, he was going down one. Triple H goes down one. Gold Dust number nine. Ugh, atrocious. One, two, three, four, five, and then Mr. McMahon is your champion. Alright, so there we go. That's it. That was, <laughs> that's all we needed to do. Karma versus a Brie Bella. Let's see, that didn't change anything. Wonderful. Beautiful. And we can't interrupt any of these, which is excellent. So let's get right on into this. Um, it is Monday Night Raw. No really important things going on. No entrances. Quick match experience. Let's play it. Karma versus Brie Bella. Let's see if we can't get Brie Bella the edge in this rivalry. Well, we'll see what happens in the rivalry, and we'll play it as it should be played. Um, you know, um, I think one of my rules for pay-per-views from now on is let the computers decide who wins the championship matches, because goddamn, were they excellent matches. Uh, we had Karma versus Brie Bella. Brie Bella was working the leg, working, you know, trying to get Karma running around, getting the tire out. But uh, in the end, Karma just overpowered Brie Bella. Brie Bella's got to weaken Karma down over the next month. Maybe she'll become WWE Divas Champion at WrestleMania. You know, that might be actually a better victory than the one at Elimination Chamber. Um, obviously, we had Ken Shamrock, part of the corporation, with uh, uh, defeating quite easily, I might add, uh, defeating quite easily Triple H 99 and um, he retained his intercontinental well he, he earned back I would I should say his intercontinental championship bringing some gold back to the corporation we also had a tag team match between the acolytes and Zig Swag as I like to call him Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler the acolytes easily dominated that used many tag team maneuvers it was an alright match not a whole lot happened really it was just a good match Kind of like a Ring of Honor indie match, you know? Just kind of good. Not a whole lot of story involved in it, but just really good. And then the main event of the night, the WWE Championship match. We had John Cena enter in first against The Big Show, who we later learned during the match that Vince McMahon had hired to help him. And uh, he really did a number on John Cena. And it ended up being uh, John Cena, The Rock, 98-99. And Vince McMahon for the final three uh, superstars in that match. Obviously, The Rock got... Um, it was either The Rock got eliminated or John Cena got eliminated. But then Vince McMahon came up immediately after the pin and got the 1-2-3 using the ropes as leverage. He stole the WWE Championship. We are hearing conflicted reports here tonight that the corporation has made an, a major overhaul. Obviously, last week, uh, Mr. McMahon was betrayed by the big boss man and Brock Lesnar, who joined forces. And, uh, you know, they've gone into the business for themselves. So it seems to me that I'm hearing reports that there might be another tag team under the employ of the corporation. So we'll have to find out a little bit more about that as the night goes on. I obviously already know the answer, but... Uh, oh, shit. Whoops. My mistake. Um, I obviously already know the answer to this question. However... I'm going to leave it as a surprise. Watch the... What the hell is that? I, okay. Um, watch the rest of this uh, this series. It might be in part three. It might be in part two. But watch the rest of the series to find out who exactly is in the new corporation. I could, it probably already was spoiled somehow. I already spoiled it somehow in my head. I don't know. So we do have Karma versus Brie Bella starting off Monday Night Raw, and this crowd is hyped. Look at them. They are excited. Look at this Karma trying to, to take Brie Bella out via submission, but Brie Bella fighting back. Interviewed Brie Bella earlier on the WWE app, and she said that she was embarrassed to lose the way she did to Karma last night, and she is on a vengeance path. Nikki Bella has been nowhere to be found. So you got to wonder if maybe Brie Bella is telling the truth here. And there's the second face buster of the match. 
Let's see if she can get the win here. One, two, three. Brie Bella wins over the Divas champion. And that's kind of what I want. I want to set up a good rivalry between these two individuals. See if anything happens in this Divas altercation. Brie Bella trying to earn the respect of Karma. And look at that. Brie Bella has earned the respect of Karma here tonight. So a respectful Brie Bella. Maybe Brie Bella turning into a good girl. Interesting. Moving right along. Let's keep this show on the road. I am uh, trying to keep these videos shorter, so I'm going to record it all. Split it up into three videos, maybe. If we can do it quickly, two. But, you know, three. You know, I kind of want to keep it normal paced. You know, I don't want to feel like I'm rushing anything. It's usually a 50-minute video, so 333 is... 20, 15, 15, 15, 15, 6, 17, 17. Okay, so about 17 minute, minute videos each. Sounds good. You know, I'll probably make the last two 20 or so. I don't know. I don't know. Kane versus The Undertaker. Brother versus brother leading up to WrestleMania. This is going to be an epic rivalry. I kind of want to watch it. It's a highlight match. We're going to watch it. Kane versus The Undertaker. Undertaker going for the legs of his little brother Kane. Kane is, I, I, he's, he's timeless. He's still going. He is still going. And I don't know how the hell old he is, but like he's super Republican. He loves playing Halo, uh, and he's Kane. This guy could be like the best father in the world. Do you know how cool that is? Like, there's so many different angles to Kane. He's funny. Who would have thought? Like in 2005. When he unmasked, you're like, this guy, he's going to be a funny character one day. And he's going to make it, like, look really good. Obviously, he has the help of Daniel Bryan. But, man, am I so impressed with Kane. Kane, Mark Henry, just timeless characters. Jericho, even though Jericho lately's kind of been annoying. Um, <laughs> a couple weeks ago, he was on SmackDown. He was doing a an anti-Fandango um, promo. And he was talking about dogs and mange. Mange! Mange! What the hell is that? Jericho, that was the weirdest promo I've ever heard in my life. Maybe he was like, hey, Fandango, listen, this is how you don't do a promo. I'm going to go do it. Okay, here we go. And that's, that's all he did, because it was a shitty promo. It was really, really bad. And for someone as good as Jericho, you know, come on, I expect better, pal. Can't be good all the time, I understand, though. With the Undertaker, the legend grows and grows. Ah. Trying to fit in a lot of recording. It's the last couple of days before I leave. Get it all recorded in one night, and then all I gotta do is edit, render, and schedule. I've already got the first week scheduled out with the uh, um, XCOM and a surprise game that you will find out on Monday. So stay tuned to my channel for that. I am going on vacation until the 29th, but there will be a video out every single day until the 29th, and then there might be maybe a one-day delay, um, but I, I assume because where I'm going has no internet, uh, where I'm going, my niece and nephew, they are very poor, so even more poor than I am, so they don't have internet, they don't have cable, they don't have TV, so when I come back that Saturday, um, expect me to record and and watch TV. I've got, I'm going to have to catch him on America's Got Talent. Big Brother Dexter debuts that week. It's going to be a very, very busy week when I come back. Um, but you know what? I'll be pumped up and ready to go. If you think I, if I, if you think I sound a little like, you know, kind of, uh, you know, like burnt out, um, I'm not. But if you think I do, um, I'll be like a hundred times more improved when I come back. I mean, two weeks with no internet, or very little, like I'll go to Starbucks, download my podcasts, and that's all I'll really get for entertainment, you know, uh, besides reading a book, and that's it just doesn't do it for the normal kid these days. So it's going to be rough, so I will be gone, but I will try my best to get a recording out every single day until I come back. And that will be on the morning of the 29th. So, no worries. Videos will be going up regularly. Um, and that's another reason, well, obviously, this is 
Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about that, because I'm already gone. It's kind of weird. It's like Doctor Who, and I've traveled in the, to the future. But you shouldn't know that, because that would just really screw up with your head. And it's against time rules, so... Just let's just pretend I didn't say that. But <laughs> I think this is coming out the Monday after, like seven days after I've already left. So <laughs> that's good, right? Yeah. Basically, what'll probably happen is I'll come back from my vacation, and I'll have to catch up on wrestling. That'll be the first thing I do: catch up on wrestling first. And I'll watch an episode. I'll record an episode. I'll watch an episode. Record an episode. And then, so you'll probably get your universe mode that Saturday, you know, this coming Saturday in your time. In my time, it'll be that Saturday, the Saturday I come back. Uh, because, you know, as much as I complain about wrestling and how I get burnt out every t from time to time, if I miss one week and I don't know what the hell happened and I come back and I, and I look it up and I watch it, I get a little excited because, you know, it's just what I do. I get excited over these things. The Brothers of Destruction are fighting each other in the in the middle of this ring right now. Kane versus The Undertaker. And there goes The Undertaker over the top rope. Kane now with the advantage. These two have had rivalries before. Kane, obviously the loser of the two, you know, kind of the lesser brother. Wonder if Kane has had more championships, though. That'd be interesting to look up. I, I'm sure he has. He had one with Big Show. He's had one with X-Pac. He's had some with the Hurricane. He's had some with Daniel Bryan. And those are all tag teams. Those are just the tag team championships. He's had some with his brother, The Undertaker. Um, he's been WWE champion. He's been World Heavyweight champion. I know he's been Intercontinental Champion. Was he United States Champion? I don't remember. Hearing noises. Creeping me out. Ooh. It could be my Tower of Money. Um, I've got a, a little lighthouse. You probably see it in the background of any of my vlogs, maybe. I don't know if it was there when I did my vlogs. But, um... It's so full right now that it's tipping, and I've got jackets on the top of it, so it's tipping even more. So, yeah, it just made a weird noise, and I'm scared it's going to collapse in the night and freak me out and scare me. Oh, and look at this, Kane going for the choke slam on The Undertaker. Taking him down. I'm surprised not one of these two was in that match last night. That's interesting. Kane going for the pin. Undertaker too big of a man. Got to watch those ropes, and look at this, Undertaker. Going for the tombstone on his little brother Kane. Connecting. Oh no. Undertaker coming with a comeback, but he doesn't need to use it one. No, he might need to use it after all. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think he'll get to. I think Kane's going to stop him. Oh, and a clothesline. Oh my god, this crowd. Look at this crowd, man. They've been standing up the whole night so far. It's like post-WrestleMania crowd. They're going nuts. Kane going for the un-rope uh, breakable submission move. Undertaker escapes. I think Undertaker's lost his, oh my, uh, his uh, comeback, though, so his momentum is back down to not zero. The Undertaker controlling the arm of Kane, going to the back, taking out the legs. Take out the legs of your little brother, he can't fly or kick, or go to the top rope for a flying clothesline. Big back body drop to Kane. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Kane with a rake of the eyes. These two really, really want to win this match. Look at that, Kane. Scoop slam, lifts him up, and a drop kick to the face. Kane going for the pin? No. Oh, the punch connects. Kane reversing. This match is getting crazy. Kane in the corner. Undertaker trying to take him out. Kane running DDT out of the corner. 
And look at that. The Undertaker's busted open. Kind of freaky. Freaky looking. Oh, he's going to go for submission. Un, 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 I'm just going to call it the unrope breakable submission. You can't move. You can't really break out of it. Undertaker with a DDT of his own. And there's the, submission hold. Will this the best striker in this business is the Undertaker. Look at that. He just sits back up and a running DDT. And now Kane is busted open. Kind of hard to tell with that fruit roll-up mask. But he is busted open. Undertaker going for the pin. Is this going to be at one? No. Kane kicks out at one. Kane in the corner. Undertaker a clothesline out of the corner. Little Brother Kane seems to be getting the uh, short end of the stick here. Oh, there's that DDT. I love that DDT. It's better than the one they usually have for uh, generic superstars these days. Kane, wow, was that a powerbomb? Oh, 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 been a 10-minute match, clearly. Been an epic match already. Going for that sidewalk slam. Is he going to go to the top for a flying clothesline? Because that would be awesome. No, he's just going for the pin one. No. He might get a choke slam. I think I saw two flat. That's his next move. Or a mock uh, tombstone. Undertaker trying to take out the arm of Kane. But I don't think that's, that's not his choke slamming arm. Maybe a mistake there. Oh, no. Last ride. Last ride. Last ride gonna connect to Kane. Kane is down. Kane is down. Going for the pin. One. No. Kane kicks out. Kane going for a tombstone pile driver. Connecting. Last of an era. Kane going for the pin. One. Two. Three. Kane defeats the Undertaker. Wow. Unbelievable. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. The last ride does not finish off the big red machine. Let's see what happens here. Kane shaking his older brother's hand. Undertaker doesn't want any part of it. Kane and the Undertaker. Kane just beat his older brother and he was super happy, but Undertaker is not happy about it. Wow.